Hi everyone, so we're back on combi boilers again, or indeed sealed systems that use pressure vessels. I was asked by a subscriber, he said that the swing when he puts the heating on, after it's got going, goes from 1.4 to 2.3. Is that normal? Mm, it's a little bit higher. So what is happening? Well, inside every combi boiler and sealed systems as well, there is what's called an expansion chamber. And this is kind of like if you imagine a round chamber, you probably send them in a sealed system sitting above a cylinder. One side of it is air, the other side is the water. And in the middle there is this like diaphragm, a rubber diaphragm. And as the water expands, it pushes it against the air, which can compress and it makes sure then that any pressure build up is taken care of. So what actually happens is as the water is getting hotter, expansion starts to occur what normally happens when water gets hot and this bellow moves over and you get a pressure rise now that is quite normal so when you put your boiler on to see that gauge go up is a normal thing to occur but we usually only say half a bar is kind of around about the average you should go if it starts to go more than that closer towards a bar then you may have a problem with the expansion vessel Things that you can try if you find you are getting this huge jump it does mean there is a problem with the expansion vessel. So there is a valve on them, a lot like a valve on a bike, car or whatever. And you can actually fit a pump on there and pump air back into the expansion vessel because it may have deteriorated and escaped. But you've got to remember it may have happened because the vessel is rusty or the bellow, the bit of rubber inside, we call it a bellows, but has corroded possibly and rotted. But it's worth trying and you can actually pump the air back in. But I wouldn't suggest you do it on a combi boiler. You really need a technician in for that, I'm afraid. You're not really allowed to touch these <laughs> unless you are obviously a registered fitter all right but on the other ones that are on a sealed system that is just got a pressure vessel above the cylinder or whatever you can actually do the pumping with that so what else could you actually do if that had felt well I have heard of one last story that you can do and that is where you drain the system a little bit and you use an upstairs radiator in a bedroom that's not ever use so if it's one of those bedrooms you very rarely go in there you don't need the heat in there too much what you could do is drain some of the water out to the level of the top of the radiator and then drain a bit of water out your drain valve so it drops the radiator level down to about a third you'll have to roughly gauge it I know then you could fill the other ones back up again repressurize it but not fill the room that has that radiator that you've allowed the water to drop so what you're going to do then is kind of use that air that's in the top of that radiator, the top five to six inches, as an expansion vessel. And that is going to do the expanding for you, but it's only temporary until you get your vessel changed. I keep saying pressure vessel, don't I? But I actually mean expansion. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> expansion chamber. So there's a little work around there that can be used if you get that problem. But you shouldn't get any more rise than half a bar. If you're getting more, there could be a problem. So worth getting someone in to look at it, unless, as I say, you can do that work around if it's really bad, just for temporary. Can you do that even though it's a combi boiler? Yes, it can, yeah. yeah. So I know you can't touch the combi mm. boiler, but you could do that to your radiator. Yeah. It wouldn't damage the combi boiler no, at all. No, you can try that, that little tip. It, it does work, it doesn't work all the time. Depends what system, how it's plumbed and where you got it. Sometimes it, it won't work, but I've seen it work successfully a few times. So oh, worth so a go. It's a little something to get you over the yeah. week or so while you're waiting for someone to come and actually get, fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually in most times you can try pumping these up, but if you have got a problem, uh, it, it generally it will reoccur pretty soon again and you'll find that pressure rising more than it should do once again. And then you know it's no point keep on pumping it up you're going to have to give in and get a new expansion chamber fitted. And that's, that's just the way it is. But that's just a little one. So if someone asked me about, is this pressure rise, should it be this much? And, and can I ask, um, what would happen if you didn't do anything about it? Yeah, it just wouldn't work. Well, if 
if you kept trying to pressure it up, there is a point where it get where there would be no expansion left, and you'd find it would actually blow the relief valve. So when the pressure gets to three bar, there's a pressure relief valve in the boiler that will allow the excess water to flood outside. And once that's happened, uh, the valve, sometimes they don't seal back over, they need renewing. But if it does seal back over, you'll find when it all cools down, it's probably dropped below the point where it will actually work again. The pressure gauge will have dropped too far because you've lost all your water outside. <laughs> it's all expanded and gone out there. So when you lock that down again and got it working, turn it all off, you'll find the pressure gauge has fell down. Then you're pushing it up again and then it's going to rise and do the same thing again. So, so you're kind of like in a circle, you right. can't get out of. So there's a safety outlet on the Oh yes, on the, on so the that's valve, one other that thing you need never worry about. In fact, people worry about the pressure being a bit too high sometimes and you haven't got to worry, it's not going to blow up. You know, people think, oh yeah, it's going to, you know. It's not going to blow, the pressure relief valve is there. To, it's there for a reason. Yeah, you, yeah. you look where your boiler is, you'll probably see there's a pipe running outside from your boiler maybe going down the wall or going out through the wall and that is a little 15 mil pipe to take the water away should the pressure relief valve blow at any time. Right, because it wouldn't be something I'd ever look at. <laughs> I'd well, leave it to you of course. Yeah, but, but, I mean, but that's another sheer giveaway yeah. of course. If you see there's been water coming out of that pressure relief valve then you know you've got a problem. And not all the time, but invariably, um, <laughs> that is right. the problem. That makes sense. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt your video, but there were questions that were burning my brain. That's, that's okay. Oh, well, that's about it. Huh? Just a little tip again. I keep coming with the boilers these days. I've been getting fed up. <laughs> keep showing the side of a f boiler, you know, what's that about? <laughs> Get a life out. Okay, all my stuff, you know where to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. Or you could just get a beer. Yeah, I think I'll get one of those. <laughs>